There's one. Got it on that little Timu grub. I'm using our little red one this time. Kind of pops up in this water a little bit better on one of the little tiny ball heads. Right there, fat little, fat little green sunfish. There's the little red grub. There's another one. There's one. Cut him out of the tree. <laughs> that was kind of sick. That was pretty sick. All green sunfish. I was actually looking for a decent, you know, bluegill. But looks like there's a bunch of green sunfish. Here's one. There's so many green sunfishes up close. Another one. Another one. You know what's great about this guys is when you're you know bluegill fishing pan fishing when you're using this artificial lure you know it lasts a long long time you don't got to keep changing your bait out it doesn't keep getting nipped off and they bite it just as well i mean they just munch it again just using a little timu grub in a red color they have a couple different colors i usually use the natural you know just like that creamish color like the natural mealworm color but I decided to go with a red one to try it out as well for when water gets stained and stuff like that. And it's working really well. There's one. Look at that. How crazy. Green sunfish munching that little mealworm. Perfect, man. There's one. What'd we get? Yep, green sunfish. Perfect, roof of the mouth. I could probably put a much smaller hook on to catch some of the bluegill, but I don't wanna catch like super, super, super tiny ones. There's one. Yeah, we can get the green sunfish to eat it good. You know, with their bigger mouths, they get this grub down a lot easier than the the bluegills. There's one. Yes, sir. Man, I'm telling you guys, a little grub is great. Great bluegill catcher. Now, if you wanted to catch some of these uh, smaller bluegill and stuff, you would just downsize your hook or maybe even just use half the grub instead of the full thing and you guys can probably catch some of the smaller normal bluegill not just like the green sunfish and hybrids there we go oh yeah nice one that's a big one right there look at the size of that guy munched it sorry buddy you got tricked There's one. Little guy. That's a little bass candy right there. There's one. Another big fat green sunfish. I mean, those are some really nice ones too. On that Timu grub. Right there again, guys, use my code. ORD61765, new users. You guys will get an additional 30% off your order. <laughs> Another one. Look at them all. Just a green sunfish haven in here. See, this is great with this little Timu artificial too. No mess. The bait lasts forever. You get like 50 in a pack or something crazy. 
and they just straight up catch fish and they're not so messy. And you don't got to keep changing your bait out and they're not snatching your worms and everything else. Got one. Man, as soon as it hit the water over there. These are beautiful though. I forgot to film an outro guys, but I hopefully you guys enjoyed the little Timu video on the little artificial grub. Um, had great success with it. I've been fishing this a little bit here and there. I've been just using like the regular mealworm style color. Everything's going to be linked in the description below. You guys can check out, but I'm um, highly recommend it for panfish. It was actually really, really good. And like I said, it's not like, you know, fishing worms or the real mealworms where you got to keep changing um, your bait out. You know, I got to keep replacing it from little fish, nipping it off the hook, things like that. So definitely check it out. Linked in the description below. And again, new users, use my code ORD61765 and you guys will get an additional 30% off your order. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Drop the comments below and I'll catch you guys very soon. Peace.